Creating and editing pages is one of those essential items when using a WordPress powered site. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and edit pages on your site. The difference between posts and pages is pages are typically static content, whereas posts typically have more dynamic content that will automatically be sent to readers as well as displaying on the front page of your site. So you see here, here are my latest posts on my site if I scroll down, but pages do not automatically show up like this. I mean, pages might have things such as an about page or a contact page, and um, I would have to link to these perhaps from my menu bar or perhaps my sidebar. Creating a new page is easy though, and I'm just gonna hop over to the WordPress dashboard and show you how. You should be familiar with this by now, and on the left-hand side, we want to hover over pages and then press add new. This is gonna take us to the WordPress content creation screen, which is exactly the same for posts. You've got a couple of changes, which I'll talk you through here. In the center of the page there, you've got your standard title and content. I'm just gonna add some content in here. You might have a title such as our story. I'm just gonna paste in some content I've already created. I can add new media and as well as styling as you would normally. Um, so I'll just drop in an image here by just creating a space there by pressing return and um, attaching this picture of a boardroom scene to describe um, the our story page a bit better. And you'll see on the right hand side, I've got the same options as I do for posts, where I can set it to pending review if it needs to be approved by someone else, as well as choose the visibility to be public, password protected, or private. I'm gonna set mine to public and you'll probably want to do the same. I can also schedule pages should I want to, um, but I'll just leave that blank. So if I now pick publish, then I can view my page on my site. And we're gonna see that I've got the uh, page looking how you would expect there. However, if I visit the home page, you're not going to see the page on the home page by default, and I would have to add that in manually, either using a pages widget or perhaps in the menu bar, as I mentioned before. So that's the difference between posts and pages. This page is static content, um, which will not appear on the dynamic parts of your site. If you want to edit the page, then once I'm logged in, you'll see the admin bar shows up over the top. And once you're on the page, you just need to click edit page in order to get back to this editing screen. And here you can again make any of the changes you wanted. So if I realize that uh, I wanted this in bold, I could make that change very quickly and just press update to save those changes. On the right hand side, you've also got page attributes and here you can select a parent page. And if you click that drop down, that's going to drop down all of the published pages you have on your site. And you can use this to create sub pages should you wish. You've also got order and you can use the numbers um, one, two, three, four, etc., in order to set an order for pages on some sections of your site. So if you're using the pages with it, then you could set an order here to control the order at which your pages display on that widget. On some themes here, you're also going to have a page template option and you'll be able to use a drop down to select a template similar to this one. This will allow you to select some specifically built templates for your theme, um, such as a home page or perhaps uh, no sidebars, that kind of thing. Um, you can set that here. If you're using a theme with specific page templates that need to be created, then you might need to create a new page and then just select the page template, but leave the content blank in order to get that set up for your theme. And you would just need to publish that and then go into your theme settings and select that page. The default WordPress theme doesn't have any page templates built in though, which is why I'm not seeing that option there. You also have, as with post, the option for a featured image, and you can just set that by clicking the featured image button. I'm just going to update that, and um, that was gonna save all of the changes I've made to my page. I'm just gonna show you one final thing, which is the pages menu. So if I just click on pages on the left-hand side on the WordPress dashboard, then you'll see here I can manage all of the pages I've got published. If I hover over these, I've got edit, quick edit, trash, and view. And here I can uh, click any of these in order to get back to, for example, the editing screen by clicking edit. But you've also got the quick edit that you might be familiar with from posts. We can change a number of things quickly, such as the title, slug, date, and so on. And you can also tick this box to disallow comments, which you might want to do more so on pages than posts. And you can also uh, do this for all of your pages. So for example, the sample page, which is included with the default installation of WordPress, I might want to move that to my trash now that I've got our story published. 
And that's really all there is to it with pages. You just need to, from your dashboard, go to pages and then add new. And here you've got the same content creation screen that hopefully you're familiar with by now. You can add your title, add your content. The only difference with pages is there are no categories or tags as such. Um, this is just for static content. For that kind of content, you'd want to create a post. Choose your parent page if you would like one to create a hierarchy and also the order and a page template if you've got one. Those are the specific options for pages. It's really all there is to it. Just click publish or update when you're done. And you do also have that preview button available to you there so you can test out what it looks like before you hit publish. Hopefully this has been a helpful introduction to pages in WordPress and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.